Hi, I'm Teniola Shobowale. Here's your Channel TV Evening News Recap for September the 11th, 2020. Officials of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in Ondo State have been accounting for the losses incurred in the fire that broke out at its Akure office last night. The state resident electoral commissioner says 5,141 smart card readers were destroyed. The Department of State Security Services has once again invited the former Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Obadiah Melafia, to its office in Jos, the Plateau State capital. Melafia, who was also the presidential candidate of the African Democratic Congress, has previously been interrogated by officials of the security agencies in connection with comments he reportedly made during a radio interview about the leadership of Boko Haram. His lawyer confirmed today that this this is the third time May Lafia will be appearing at the DSS office in Jos. In Bauchi, the state government says 700 million naira was overpaid as pension in two years to fraudulent persons through the payroll. In a press conference, Governor Bala Mohamed promises not to spare anyone found guilty. On the international scene, President Donald Trump and his Democratic rival Joe Biden have visited the crash site in Pennsylvania where one of the planes was hijacked during the September 11, 2001 terror attacks on the United States. And in sports, Serena Williams plans to dust herself down after the disappointment of another failed attempt at a record equal in 24th Grand Slam single title and continue her chase at Roland Garros this month. Williams crashed out of the US Open semi-finals, blowing out a set to lead in three hard-fought sets to former world number Victoria Azarenka. And that's your news recap for today. Join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Tenyo Lash Thanks for watching.